Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to take these. You're going to go there and there. There and there. There and there, like that. And then these are going to come up as well. So I mean, that one there is just going to go up like this. This is just a minuscule amount in here. Doesn't really make any difference. So that can just pop into there and stay on a single track. And you're going to go over here. You're going to go up that way. And turn. And then I'm going to put one there and I'm going to put one there. And then I'm going to put one there and i'm going to put one there to finish it off and that belt there is going to be the last one and that's going to go up this way and over there and down into there and that is all of the ore coming in now every single bit of ore is now connected up and running in which means that this is now all connected up and running in as fast as I can. I've got that stone being filtered out as rapidly as I can possibly get it. It's sort of holding up in a few places. Not actually holding up very much at all in any places at all. Not enough that it's holding up the supply of clean ore that is running in over here. Let me just have a look up there. I've got 108 sapphire ore there that can be ditched. Excellent. I do just want a new stack of underground belts because I've got unused all of mine up. So now I've got another 50 of them. Uh, all right for those. That stone. I've got five steel in here and that's it. I'll have it, but I could do with some more than that. And then we've got this. We've got the. Yeah, the crushed stone is building up. So everything now. The only thing that's going to hold this up is when eventually these all get filled up. Right? It gets filled up with copper ore, it gets filled up with slag. That's what's going to stop it. That's what's going to cause us our problems. Right now, it's not going to cause us any problems at all. Everything is coming through here perfectly. I couldn't ask for it to be running any better than it is right now. So that's going to keep flowing all the way around. I've got plenty of iron now coming in through. And all the way down here. And there, like, yes, there's a, a little bit of a dearth of iron just in there. But it, it's very quickly going to be coming in. There it is. Right? That's going to come back down in. It's slow in here. This is building up. This is sort of filling up in here. And we've got more coming through here. So I've got a little tiny bit more steel being made. But honestly, we don't have anywhere near enough steel being made just yet. I mean, if you look over here, I've got steel that comes in and then it comes down that way. Over, down, over this way and it connects onto there and then it makes these. Now, this is backed up, but I've also got this down here, which is making uh, the, the pieces in here. The, these weapon parts here, so the level 2 weapon parts. And... Yeah, I need a load of steel for that. So I'm kind of still waiting on a lot of iron to come in through the system. And it, it's coming in now. i got loads coming in on this side. And I've got loads of iron coming in here as well, which is going to help matters a huge amount. So these are all, like, ev everything's backing up. And the more that we can get backed up, the better. But, yeah. This was the biggest problem that we had. Right the way through this entire factory, the main problem that we had was there just was not any iron coming through. We had nowhere near enough iron coming into this. And I've still got nowhere near enough iron. If you think you've got enough iron, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because you haven't. I can guarantee it. You need more. Okay? At any point, if you even begin to think that you might have enough iron have another look take a long hard look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself no you don't have enough iron because you don't you absolutely do not have enough iron now, i got 123 sapphire ore there i got crotinium ore here i've got jivalite ore up there and i've got jivalite ore up there extracting the jivalite ore 
would mean that we wouldn't have to be focusing quite so much on copper. And copper at the moment is a little bit of an issue. The good thing with doing it this way is that we get slag. And slag is something that we kind of want quite a bit of. So you, you need slag. Um, there's numerous different things that turned up later when I was doing my original playthrough just for me. Um, and I could never get enough slag. Like I, I did. Once I started using the stuff, I couldn't get enough of it. So using the processes where you don't use slag, where it doesn't um, give you any, it kind of not brilliant. So we have got the option there of Jivalite ore being combined. And then so your usage in here, one of those, two crush sapphire, two crush Jivalite gives us four iron ore. It is good. It does give you a nice amount of iron coming in and you haven't got anything spare that you've got to worry about. But at the same time, it can cause a bit of a problem. I mean, you do the same with the copper over here, but then you're just not getting any slag. You've got lead, you've got tin, and then you can make hybrid catalysts, which you can use for other things. Um, now, getting slag itself... It was to make slag slurry, I think, was the main thing. Usage in here, yeah, it was to making the slag slurry. Uh, concrete as well. You need it for concrete, and we want to be making lots of concrete. You can turn slag into crushed stone, but I don't think craft in here... I don't think... Oh, yes, of course. That's another thing I was doing. I was basically... I had a huge setup with electrolyzers. And I was making masses of oxygen and hydrogen. I was literally just burning that straight off. Because water is eternal. I was burning the oxygen and hydrogen just so that I could manufacture vast quantities of slag. That's what I was doing with it. So, yeah. It, if we can do that, and we can do that, then maybe getting Jivalite and mixing it would be a better option. As long as we've got a supply of Jivalite. Oh, we've got 150 over there. 28 million up there. Where else have I got some? i got Bobmonium up there. It's coal. Bobmonium. I mean, yeah. I've, I've got the inconvenience of a load of enemies all over this. Oh, there's a nice patch. 29 million there. Another 69 million there. Well, I have got the stuff scattered around. It's just a matter of getting to it. The, the, the minor inconvenience of having... A vast quantity of creatures like this sitting all over it. It's probably not helping. Uh, also getting a load of alien artifacts. And I don't even know where these are coming from because I haven't been blowing anything up. So I don't know why I've got dead aliens here. Not quite sure what's killing them. Something has killed them. And they're just lying there. Piles of corpses. Bit untidy like. So I don't quite know how that has happened, but um, no doubt we'll find out one day. Uh, right. Laser turrets. Why aren't you manufacturing? We've got laser turrets there. It's Warfare Data Core Green Science Analyzer. That was the bits that we... Well, the, the, those are the ones that we're waiting on. Go and have a look around our... I need to do, uh, like, there is a lot of room for improvement. So it's the warfare things. It's these over here. I'm waiting on bits for warfare, essentially. And it's those that I'm waiting on. And I can't make those. No, I'm not waiting on these. So what am I waiting on? I've got those bits. I've got the three. I've got the three bits in there that I need for them. What, what am I waiting on to make these? Warfare data core, red circuit. It's red circuits. Is this where red circuits is coming from? This must be. That one is coming. It can only be the red circuits. That's that's the bit I'm waiting. Those red circuits. They must be coming back from here. You come in. There's the red. Wait, what? That can't be right. Wait a minute. Have I been waiting all this time for those things to be made? And, I mean, is that a recipe change? Let's go and have a look. There's something gone wrong here. I should have red circuits coming through, but there's no red circuit. Not on that, what I was just looking at. There was no red circuits coming through there anywhere. 
Let's go back this way. So you're the ones that I'm waiting on. I want those warfare data cores. I've got the green science analyzers. Those aren't any kind of an issue. But it's in here. This is this what we're waiting on right here. Red circuits. Now that line up there, there's not going to be any red circuits there. So this has got to be where the red circuits are coming from. It's the only place they can be coming from. And the only place that they can be coming from here is through that way. Up there, and I've filtered them out there. Why did I filter them? They're going up that way. But why would I filter them out unless that was a recipe change and I wasn't previously using red circuits on there? I don't want a filter on this. Oh. I know what I've done. Yeah, I know what I've done. I've filtered the red circuits out, which I, I do actually need to filter the red circuits out of there and have them come out so that they're clean. But where I need the red circuits up here, they're, that's fine. That's, that's going through and they're being used. Uh, but I also need the red circuits to go through the other bit. But I, I want just the red circuits coming up from here. So I need to filter out red circuits on there and then send the other bits on through that way. So I need to remove you. i got to do a double filter on this one. So we have to put you there and then a second filter down there like that. So what do I want it to? I need to do it the other way around. Right. If I put... A f I need to put a filter there. So this one, I need to filter red circuits. There. Right, that's filtering red circuits. And that will connect up over to there. This bottom one, I don't actually want that one doing anything at all. And so that's going to be in the wrong place. It's got to go back by one more. Or it's... A sheet? No, I don't need to do that at all. I can just remove that one and you can go all the way up here. So that one can go there and that one can go there. So you were in the right place. You can go there. You can go there just fine. Which means that that one... Yeah, you can go here and filter red circuits like that. And I can take, yeah, I know that it is in the right place. All right, come on, Frith, focus. And then I can put another one here, like that. That one I don't need to be filtering, because that one comes out here like this, over another, and then that goes up, and that goes in there like that. And then I can put the underground belt is there and that one will come out and that will join on to there and that means I get red circuits going up there and down here I get red circuits and I get these basic data cores that's what I need coming in through there right so that's that bit dealt with that's that's the little error that was going on here so I've got the two filters on there. So then I want to run back this way and I want to find out where the red circuits are on this line. Coming back to here. I've got... Yes, red circuits should come out across here so long as they're not being taken up on this one. And yeah, they're going to be taken up on here pretty rapidly because there's everything. I've got... I need a lot of them up there how many that let there's there's one has gone through look see he's gone up through there is a red circuit there's a red circuit it's coming along it's going to go all the way up it's probably going to be taken up by those Getting picked up by one of these it's going to be nabbed no no it's it's made it through it's got to this point and he's gone through here there he is there's that red circuit. We can see him. He's going right there. He's, he's going to go underneath that belt. And he's going to come over here. And he's going to go up there. And I've got one of these data cores. I've got a warfare core. It's being made. It's being manufactured right now as we speak. It's going to be put out over to there. It's going to make its way. And we're going to do a bit of research. 
Oh, what a joyous day. We need so many more red circuits coming through here. This is ridiculous. The amount of materials that we need for everything is just phenomenal. So, it's the we've got these electronic blocks. They're coming through. And it's the electronic blocks that are using up the majority of these red circuits that are coming through at the moment. All right, I've got a reasonable amount of red circuits that are coming through. I've taken care of the iron shortage. Look, see, I've now got iron that is backed up right the way around the base, um, using it pretty solidly right through everything in here. This is absolutely fantastic. It's also it's backing up over this side as well. It's, it's backing up everywhere. And if we look down through here, it's, it's coming in on these. Right the way through all of this lot, those are backing up. That's going to fill up that chest right in there with everything that we need. It's going to fill up all of these. These are being made. I've got extras of those. They're being made. It's going to fill everything up, and that's great. And then I've also got a nice lot of iron coming in here. The steel is now going flat out once more, which is what we want. I mean, yes, admittedly, the steel is got to be used up down here first before it can do anything else. So I don't have a lot of spare steel, but I have got stuff coming through. Right now, I have got some stuff coming through, which is good. So what's our shortage? What's, what's our next shortage? What's the problem in here? Why, are we, why have we got a, pro, a, a shortage of these coming out? And, well, it's essentially the way I've got everything set up in here. Right, I've got everything very compact. I don't have enough of this copper coming in, and I don't have enough paper coming through properly being used either. I, I could expand this out so much further than it is right now and have so much more of it. To... I'll tell you what. The big problem here is not... The amount of materials going in. The big problem is the amount of materials being processed. It's a very slow process turning this cellulose pulp into the um, paper in here. It's cellulose pulp being turned into paper. That's the, the slow process. And you can see it here. I've got all of these factory units that are doing it. And they just can't do it quite fast enough. So I need to be able to have this go faster than it is at the moment. I need to have more of these working. If at all possible. None of these are causing any issues. So we want to build more factories. I can do that. That's going to get me lots of paper coming through. So, I'm, I'm the copper, the copper is keeping up. A little bit slow at times, but it seems that the copper is keeping up. These five in here. This one here is not running at all. I, I don't have the necessary... I've got... Mm, you're sort of running. You're pausing, and then I've got two of them here that just aren't running at all. So, I need uh, paper. Lots, lots, lots of paper. Let's go into here, and we will do... More of these. Let's do another bit of a line out there. I'll get another five of them out and running. Let's go along there. You this way. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do it like this. Uh, if I go... Right, remove that belt and put you out that way. And then I'll go round... And into there, like that. And then you over and out to there, like that. And then I can get some inserters. I can go one, two, three, four, five, like that. I can put power pole, power pole, and a power pole in the middle, like that. And then I can take a belt over here. And I can, let's try and put that the right way around, shall we? We can run the belt over to there. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five, like that. And I can put down more power poles. Well, I can in a minute, as soon as I've made a few. One, two, there, make another couple of stacks. One there and one there. Right. 
More paper. Lots more paper. There's five more factories making paper. Is that going to be enough? Possibly it's going to be enough. Is it going to be able to keep up with the production of everything that I need? Now, uh, that, no, that's that's not backing up too much. It was only because I had a, a an accumulation in there, which caused that slight problem. I've got five of those that I could drop into here. I'm carrying a stack of paper on me, but I'm not too concerned about that. And then down here... There we go. That's better. Now we look out here. I've now got a little bit more paper coming down here, which is making a few more of these. And it's making a few more of these in here as well, which in turn will then be able to make more of these. And now the, the copper is slowing down ever so slightly coming in. I just can't win, can I? I, think I need to shuffle things around again. What do I need for you? You, It's just paper for those. And these here, it's the red boards and the copper cables. And then I got this one over here because I need the copper cables and the paper to make them. So that's why I've got the system set the way I've got it set. I've got this as a single line coming in through. And that is potentially not as efficient as it could be. There's room for improvement on this. Need to change things around a bit, I think. Well, I don't know. I have at least got a little bit more of these going. I still don't have enough of these being made, so I don't have enough of these being made here. Uh, it's copper. I need more copper. All right, there is a slight alteration that I can make to this in order to get the copper to work properly. So you in here, all you need to make are, is just paper. That's the only thing I need is paper for that one. I don't need anything else. And then I've got copper cable coming in down here. So I'm going to cut that. That line is... Actually, I'm going to cut that line right there. So this one here can keep going. And I'm going to get rid of that so that I've got a double line of copper that's coming in over there. And it's going to keep that crammed full over that side. Just for a minute. I'm going to get rid of you. And that one and that one. That's all going to come out of there. And then I'm going to... Remove all of this out of here. I just want to change this around ever so slightly. So I've got that bit will go into here. And it's going to go down, over. And it's going to go back up like that. And it's going to... Uh, it's going to stop there like that. But what I'm also going to do is this one here, this one is going to drop on the near side. So that can keep chucking stuff out. And then I've got a lot of boards there being made. Now I'll move that belt there. And then I will go into here. So I'm just going to remove that bit completely. I'm going to put a splitter here like this and I'm going to run that down here like this and then I'm going to get those small factory units that I've been using we'll get 10 of those I don't have enough room here to make everything it's basically my main problem here is I just don't have the room to make everything that I would like to make I'm going to want to put a factory unit in there. I don't have room to do two in there. But I do have room to put one. So we'll put this one here. Two, three, four. All right, this is the 
problem. Okay, that belt there, that's going over this way. So you're going to go... You're going to go in there like that. Uh, you're going to go like that, and you're going to go like that. So you're still going on the same place, which means that then you can go here in like that. And you can go up there like that. So there's a little bit more space on there. Right. Uh, I might better change some of this around in a bit. Ooh. Uh, maybe there is another way I can do this. Let's have a look. Right. That one will go one, two, three, four, five, six up to there. You over here going out onto there, so that one can be removed. You can actually that inserter he's a long inserter but i can actually deposit him all the way up there which means i can get rid of that belt as well i can go to here and i can set this to making red circuit boards like that i can pick up straight from that belt just there with the copper cable and i can do the same with one here Except that's going to be a little bit more inconvenient. Quite sure how I'm going to do that. Right, now we will go with you. You're going to split here instead of over there. And I'm going to pick up that lot. Get that out of the way. And that one. Then... Uh, that one's going to go there, and you're going to go there like that. That's everything going around that way. I've got these, and i got those. How can I get everything going into the right squares? I'm going to get them into there. That's going to be the difficult bit, is getting these over to here. Actually, is it? Uh, possibly it is, yes. Hmm. This is a bit of a head scratcher. I possibly, I need, I can't get that one installed. I can with these others. I can just bring that down there like that without any problem. And I don't even need to do that. What I can do is I can actually just bring that up like that. Get rid of you. You will come over and down like that and then i will do this i get rid of all of that belt and i'll bring it up this way instead put you that way and then this is just going to come down here like this bring it down there that will I'm over that way. I realise I haven't really made a lot of changes on this now, but that coming up that way, going into there, might be able to reach everything that I need to reach. So I've got one of those. Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge, continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything but whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a dwarf lerp, uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.